Here we go. We're getting ready for the start of the Elite Mile here at the 2015 Nike Festival of Miles. Certainly an exciting field. Two-time champion, 2011-2014 champion. He's a 352 miler. Jordan McNamara named to watch, but certainly the name everyone paying attention to that you're watching for at home is Grant Fisher. Just coming off a 401 mile in at his state meet. And he is set to go on the track. Starter giving them the final instructions. Remind you folks, afterwards you can see this race online. This may be one of the most historical races we've ever seen a high schooler run in. So you don't want to miss it. All right, they are off here in the mile. Grant Fisher, that's the name to follow here, folks. We're gonna go through 1200 meters, 255. And our pacer will be Daniel Stockberger. He's looking to go through 1200 meters in 255. We've already got Jordan McNamara behind him. So you see the, 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 the high schoolers and youngsters lining in the track. They're ready to see a fast time. Grant Fisher currently sitting back in mid pack. So he knows that the pace is going to be quick early on. He's got to hang back. He's a smart racer. We saw him run 342 earlier in the year. He knows he's not quite ready to chase a meet record in 354. But he is ready to get something really special tonight. Let's see if he can run under Matthew Maton's 359.38 that he ran just a couple weeks ago in Oregon. That's another high schooler. So there's Fisher. We're following him, folks. We are going to follow Grant Fisher throughout this race. They go through 58 through the quarter and about a minute for Grant Fisher through 400 meters. So right on schedule for Grant Fisher. All right, so we'll try to get a closer view of them on the back stretch. We still see Jordan McNamara le leading and try to get an idea. There's Fisher sitting mid-pack. Uh, reminder, folks, we are going to chase, uh, due to the historical nature of this race, we're going to watch Fisher. We're going to watch Fisher uh, not chasing the leader. McNamara, though, still out hard. You see the clock on the bottom right. So McNamara is well away at this point. But it, it appears to be coming back just a little bit. So there's Stockburger continuing to lead. McNamara chasing him. There's Aaron Braun in second. There's Fisher. Look at him moving up. Doing well. I, I think they might need to pick it up a little bit, though, folks. All right. Just outside of two minutes through 800 meters. So we need to pick it up just a little bit. We'll try to get a, get a view of them coming around this side. All right. McNamara looks like he might be going backwards a little bit. There is Grant Fisher, guys, moving up. Moving up, coming up on Tyler Pinnell's shoulder. There's Jack Bullis right in front of him. Aaron Braun there, he might be going backwards. Folks, could Grant Fisher win this race? He looks stronger than anyone else in the field right now. They've got to get going, though. 229, this, he's got to get moving here, guys. Look at Fisher. Could Grant Fisher win this race? Jordan McNamara going backwards at this point. Could Grant Fisher do this? We are going to have 500 meters to go. So the pacer is off. Grant Fisher up in the five in the lead. Grant Fisher, he's going to have one to go. We're at about 2.55 on the clock. So right short of about just short of three minutes with 409, 409 meters left to go for Grant Fisher. Fisher now into third, moving up well. Let's get a close view of him on this back stretch. We're at 316, we need to get going. Fisher now ahead of McNamara. McNamara starting to move. Let's see what kind of closing speed that Grant Fisher has. Folks, he is not out of this. He could still win this. He's catching up on Aaron Braun, the marathoner. All right, he's got to fly now. Grant Fisher gonna pass Aaron Braun. He's gonna be into second. Can Grant Fisher win this race? He's got to get moving, folks. This has got to be a hard last 100 meters. He's got to kick. Got to kick hard for Grant Fisher. Here we go. He's tying up. He's got to move. Got to move for Grant Fisher. It's going to be awfully close. He's going to do it, folks. He did it. He did it. 
We're gonna wait for a final time. McNamara with the win. Waiting on a final time. He did it and he matched Matthew Maton's time exactly. He ran exactly the time of Matthew Maton. Can you believe it? 359.38 for Matthew Maton, or excuse me, for Grant Fisher. He matches his rival, Matthew Maton, right on the nose. He's the seventh U.S. high schooler to ever break four minutes in the mile. One of the best performances we've ever seen. Grant Fisher, folks, is one of the best all time.